It's a giant tie. That's what all dads get for Father's Day. What is this? A giant this? tie. It's a box. <laughs> I know this opens up somehow. It's a puzzle box. Put your finger inside the handle and lift up. Try that. There you go. Whoa. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Oh, I want to be so bad. <laughs> to the best dad a kid could rule for. Oh my. <laughs> so amazing. Jesus. Thank you guys. So what are they? So, uh, alright, so what we got here is first a big huge box for me to put my cards in. Mm -hmm. I and need, your mats. And my play mats and mm -hmm. my dice and everything. Um, and then we got a box here. Okay, so if I remember, okay. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm all about the dice boxes. And there's four of them. So these are dice boxes that have a magnetic ceiling lid so that, you know, I can store all the dice I need to kill my players in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy cow. I just can't even. I'm so speechless right now. Better than Ty? Do what? Better than a Ty? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Happy That's Father's awesome. Day, Thank sweetheart. Thank you. So Happy Father's Day. <laughs>
So here we are speaking with... Balin. Balin, and you're with Shadow Fox Bows, it looks like. Yeah. Bows, I gotta pronounce that right. <laughs> Terrible. He hasn't been drinking, I promise. <laughs> How are you enjoying the weekend so far? 20 minutes. Is this your first time at CosmoCon? No. Oh, how many years have you been going? Um, it's my second year selling. I've been here for seven years. Oh, wow. Well, I'm, we're really excited that you come back. Well, is there anything you'd like anybody to know about your shop in particular? Um, we have bows and bow ties. Okay. Awesome. We also take requests. Requests? You take requests? Yes. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much. We're going to show this off a little bit before we move on. and. Uh, I, I'm glad you had a good weekend. Where Next. can people get in touch with you? On Facebook. On Facebook. Let me get a shot of that right there. There we go. Perfect. Thank uh, you. I hope you had a fun weekend. <laughs> and a prosperous one. And a prosperous one, yes. yes. Hey there, I'm here speaking with Nandor. He's he wrote a series it's called Summer Seasons. Is that what it is? What uh, is it? Seasons, is it? yeah. Seasons. All right. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what you got here. Yeah. So these are my uh, graphic novels. I'm a local uh, comic book creator, um, and this is uh, my series called Seasons Volume One and Two. And then I have Lifeline, which is a standalone uh, story. But yeah, I'm a local creator here in Jeff City, Missouri. Yep, I have personally witnessed him promoting his stuff yeah. on the internet, and I've been a part of some of those campaigns. Uh, it's really fantastic stuff. I yeah. definitely suggest that you check it out. Thank you. Now, where can they find your stuff at online? Yeah, so uh, I would encourage everyone to actually go to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's Foxhole Comics. Uh, just subscribe there on, on YouTube, and um, I post weekly videos, and I have all my links in the description of the videos there. So, And I'll put a link to his in our description. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Cool. All right, well, that's it. And that's all we got. Any final comments that you want people to know? Uh, no, no, just, uh, you know, support local artists. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yep. I love this. Really all right, so here we are hanging out with, what's your guest's booth? Uh, we're sketchbook sisters, but we are both different artists. Okay. Um, I'm Dark Magic Sweetheart, and she's that one chick you don't know. Awesome. I like that. So, both so, are sisters. Awesome. So we got a lot of local artists out here. We'd love to see that. So tell us a little bit about your artwork. Like, What can people expect? Um, I do a variety of things. I like games, anime, uh, western cartoons, and YouTubers, awesome. especially Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Um, so we branch out into a lot of things. I have... All of those, even Dream SMPs here, so. <laughs> right on. Now, um, so, one last question. Where can people find your stuff online? Do you have an online store? I do. Um, I'm Dark Magic Sweetheart anywhere. You can literally Google me and find me. Uh, but I have an Etsy and a Redbubble. They're under different names. Uh, but again, you can just Google that and find me. But I have Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, a YouTube channel, all that oh, fun wow. stuff. And then does she have an online as well? She does. Uh, it's on my business card. I have an Etsy. I've got a Twitter. I've got an Instagram. i got all that fun stuff. Awesome. <laughs> well, you can bet that I'll be posting the links in our description so that you can find them if you want. But, uh, thank you so much, guys, for taking a moment with us. We're going to hand things over and go over from there. All right, so here we're talking with... Hi, this is MT's Library, and this is Pyrograph. This is the art of writing with fire. We use burner tools. They get a very hot degree, 900 on some of them. And you take it and you just pull in your gaps like you're drawing with any other tool in the world. But it gives you the chance to express artistry in your way. Awesome. So is this what basically a lot of what you saw here, a lot of custom wood burning stuff? We do pyrography, we do do custom orders, we'll do my wife will do memorial plaques for like people's pets. Awesome. She's doing those. I enjoy doing anything geek related. I'm a Trekkie at heart too, so yeah. You, know, you guys, you guys get it. You feel like yeah. That. Um, and the new Star Wars films, killing me, guys. <laughs> You're killing me. That's awesome. It's like, jeez, what happened? Now, can people find your stuff online? Absolutely. We're at MT's library. Just search us on Facebook. 
Awesome, and I'll post a link to your stuff in our description in the video as well. Thank you guys. No problem, thanks for coming out here so much. And uh, yeah, we'll see you around, all right? All right, hey, guys, anytime. Yes. Do you have a card? Hi there, so here we are looking at some awesome cups and what is the name of this place here? My business is called Dragonfly Designs. Dragonfly Designs, yep. alright. So tell us a little bit about what you do. I do custom epoxy tumblers. Awesome. I use a wide array of, of media. Yeah, man, on, some on of them are so cool. Like, so, um, so how many years have you been out here at this con? This is my very first time doing any cons. Oh, wow. so, this has been a lot of fun. Yes. It's been a lot of fun yeah. seeing everybody dressed up, that's interacting cool. with everybody. Oh so, man, that's yeah. so cool. Well, I'm First glad one. you've had a good time so far. Yeah. Now, can they find your stuff online? <clears throat> um, I have a Facebook page. It's called Dragonfly Designs. Um, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's well, just about all I have is, is Facebook. So they can well, message you. You can Facebook. message me okay. through Facebook. Awesome. Um, well, what we'll do is we'll put a, a link to your yeah. description, uh, in our description, to your page, so people can come check you out. Sure. And maybe they'll see you at more conventions. I'm hoping. Oh, I hope awesome. so. Well, thank yeah. you very much for your thank time you. here. We're gonna pan over and check everything out. Sure. All right. Thanks. Hello there. Hi. What are we selling here? So um, we have resin self-defense items as well as some dice and some wax melts. All of these are handmade by me um, and my fiance Ryan. Um, so we have fandom inspired wax melts. I got into the self-defense things because um, when I was in college I was attacked and I had no way of protecting myself and I never wanted anyone to feel how I felt. So I turned my passion for women's defense and self-defense as a whole into a small business. It's so um, creative. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we also have some blind bags that we're running just for the last day of the con. So we have some earrings, a self-defense keychain, and two black smelts in there. Um, but yeah, we're doing some resin work and resin art, and the dice are all handmade and hand-painted by me. We're going to have to look at some dice here in a minute. That's great. Well, can people find your stuff online? Yes. So um, I have a Facebook and Etsy shop and a website, CarterCoCrafts.com. So there's my business card for you. Awesome. What we'll do is we'll post the link in the description of the video so you can jump right to it. Wonderful. Cool beans. Awesome. Well, is there anything else you want to say before we pander around and, and look? Uh, I do take custom orders and commissions, so just reach out to me on Facebook and we'll get something worked out for you. I love working with people about uh, making their artistic dreams reality. Awesome. So, and also, if you're looking into getting into resin, you gotta jump into it. Yeah. it it's gonna be hard at first, but once you take that step, it is so satisfying. Whatever your passion is, follow it. It's been a dream. That's fantastic. Well, I'll tell you, you really are awesome. Thank you so much for doing this here. I hope we'll see you next year. I, I hope so. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Hi there. What do we have over here? Um, I'm an author. I write young adult fantasy science fiction novels. I, these are my first two. Pawn is the first one, and Rose is the second one. It's based in a virtual reality uh, world where aliens have taken over Earth and are forcing humans to compete in basically deathmatch virtual reality video games against other alien races. Oh wow. Um, there is a third one coming and a prequel that's getting ready to be published as well. Uh, I also create escape room, themed escape rooms, uh, which this one is an anime themed escape room uh, where 
you have to save the universe because as you go through this this portal right here you're entering a multiverse or, uh, or a nexus and you get to fight alongside heroes from Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia, and Naruto to I, I save. Do this. Oh <laughs> um, there's a couple difficulty levels. If you really want to challenge, you go with the hard. If you want to have more of a chance of beating it, go with the hard. Um, awesome. I like to do creative stuff. Basically. How long have you been writing? Uh, since eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay. So this is not just a passion. This is this yeah. is you. Yep. I've been writing since eighth grade. Awesome. So, where can people find your stuff online? Amazon and Audible. Both. Okay. Both areas. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I have a Facebook page, but I don't really update it because I. To do the writing? I am no, well, no. I'm a nurse practitioner, so this is kind of. Oh my gosh. I like to I like to write, but it's in my spare time. Right. So. Which honestly, most writers are like that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. What we're gonna do is we're gonna post a link to some of your stuff in our description. That way, people can find your book, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do you have a card that I can link? Uh, All right. So what do we have over here? Well, I have uh, a lot of homemade things, some bought things. I have Harry Potter bags. I have uh, wooden book boxes here, bottle opener magnets. I got flags, little boxes, and I got my 3D vintage Halloween masks for the walls. Awesome. And Jane hats. Perfect. A so, little yeah. bit of everything. Yeah. Right on. So, how many? Uh, how long have you been coming out to this con? This is my second time at this con. I've been doing this type of work for 15 years. Wow, so you've been doing it for a while. I've been doing laser work for 15 years. That's awesome. So, I imagine that they can find some of your stuff online? Uh, Hat Trick Enterprises on Etsy. Okay, awesome. This is where most of it's at. We really appreciate it. We're going to post a link to some of your stuff, your Etsy below, um, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. So what do we have going on here? Well, uh, this is Crit Monkey Studios. We've got board games and card games, uh, and then we've got the game room blank too. So we've got coasters for your D and D table that have all the base D and D classes on them, um, and then we've got wall hangings and stuff like that for your game room too. Dragons and castles and all that good stuff. Um, and then we've got jewelry for your cosplay, buttons for the con, and even miniatures for your game table down here by uh, Mini Monster Mayhem. All right. Licensed to sell them as well. Awesome. All right. So can, can they find your stuff online? Yeah. If you go to uh, CritMonkeyGames.com, you'll find us there. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. We'll post a link to, the, uh, to your stuff in our description. That way they can find your stuff, and we'll go from there, right? Thank you much. Thank you.
If there's anything you could tell somebody who's never been to Cosmicon about this place, what would you tell them? Um, everyone here is friendly. They're awesome. Really friendly. That's awesome. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you. Now, if there's one thing that you could say about this con that you want other people to know when they come here, what would you tell them? Um, I would say it's a very friendly place to enjoy, you know, fandom and different things that you love about being an anime fan or a comic book fan or just seeing what other people are doing. There's a lot of variety here, which is really cool. So I love seeing different people and I love uh, others like supporting local creators and local businesses and things like that. So that's what this con is really good for. Awesome. Now if, if, you could, if you could tell somebody something about this con that someone has never been here before should know, what would you tell them? This is a very wholesome, fun con. It's like... It's just like a little fun little community is just in one little area for us all to enjoy. And there's, so, it, even though it's small, there's such diverse like items here to find from plushies, handmade goods, artwork, all that fun kind of stuff. And I think it's good for all ages. Awesome. If I could ask you, if you could tell somebody one thing about this convention that someone has never been here should know, what would you tell them? Definitely bring your kids. Oh man, bring your kids. My kids love this place. Awesome. This was the first con we ever got to go to. And we did it on a free day about four years ago, five yeah. years ago, something like that. And that's what inspired us to come to Oh, look at that. We did a couple of cons. This is our first time getting to come back here. Oh, wow. So that's why it was special. That's awesome. Look at so based on your weekend experience here, if you could tell somebody else something about this con that they, let's say they've never been here, what would you tell them about this con? Everybody is so friendly. It's, you know, you feel welcome. I have no idea about any of this. I feel welcomed, awesome. even though I'm, I'm a newbie and know nothing. That's <laughs> awesome. So uh, if you could tell somebody something about this convention that someone has never been here before, what would you tell them? Um, I would tell them that it's just a really, it's been a wonderful experience. This is my first time at CosmoCon and I've had an amazing time. Awesome. Um, I really loved seeing everybody's costumes, I loved seeing everyone's cosplays, and just the passion for fandom culture really made my heart feel all warm and fuzzy, because I'm a fandom nerd as well. Awesome. Well, that yeah. Yeah. So, well, uh, I have one last question for you. If, if you could tell the people here one thing about this con that new people coming in for the first time, what would you tell them about this convention? I feel like it's a lot less stressful than other places and it's a lot more fun. So uh, it's, it's a great time to come and have fun with people. So. Awesome. Right on. Well, I have one last question for you here, and then we're going to paint over and look at all your stuff. Okay. So if you could tell somebody who's never been here one thing about this convention, what would you tell them? Um, it's fun. It's a great place to come dress up, get away from reality for a couple days. Awesome. That's kind of what I did, even though I'm working. Right. Mm -hmm. you, make, you make your work your fun, right? I'm away from my regular job and everything going on. So. Mm -hmm. Right on. Well, now, one last question. If you were going to tell somebody one thing about this con and, they, and they've never been here before, what would you tell them? One of the most friendly cons that I've been to. Everybody is so nice. Customers, vendors, staff, everybody's been really good. Awesome. What's that? Hey guys! We are we had so much fun this weekend. It wasn't even funny. Uh, you know, you know me, I'm gonna mask up. Josh masks most of the time. He hosts panels. I work the door. This convention is so much fun. If you get a chance to come out to Cosmicon next year, make sure you catch it next year. Or any of the conventions. It's going to be a great year next year. And uh, yeah, but this is Onward Barnes and we're out. Yeah, <laughs> and we're tired. Yes. We're going home. You can't tell. Yeah, bye.